Hello. Hello. Are we coming through? Are we okay? Is uh, yeah, everything looks good from my end. I'm I'm hosting this one on my laptop, uh, so if everything starts going <laughs> and then just catches fire at some point, that's on me. That's because uh, I have. A laptop that was really good four or five years ago. Um, Alex, does so your chair go any higher? Your your your. I feel like. A chair. Oh no! Or, or just your head? Or just your head? I was feeling like uh, like the, the the levels. Yes, yes. We we are now. The, pro the problem is, is that I'm sat currently cross-legged with a slump like that because that's my standing. Yeah. Oh, so. Just... Yeah, exactly. It's just a we chill one. Ourselves. We're just having like, a we're just having a chill so one, you know. Of people will have no idea who we are, what we're doing, or what's going on. I wait. I like. I would wager that there. Is, I mean, how many people? Okay, we got about two hundred and fifty people in here. I would wager one of them does not know. Well, then who introduce we are. yourself. Come okay, on, man. Fine. Hello. Don't be that I'm crazy. Johnny. Uh, I'm Johnny Sims. Uh, I am the uh, writer. Um, uh, the lead narrator of the Magnus Archives, uh, and uh, one of the one of the two writers of the Magnus Protocol, and also my voice is in it a bit, in some uh, capacity. Well, no, no, the, the, most of them have, have heard that. Uh, we'll, we'll yeah, it. I know, but uh, but yeah, that's I, that's I still in some You're capacity. So coy. You're being so coy. This what? Uh, oh, I'm 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 sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, you're like. I, I've been living under the draconian, the draconian spoiler restrictions, uh, and now I'm in a stream that has bracket spoilers in, and I don't know what that means. Uh, it, it's mostly just me going too late. Uh, I'm Alexander Janiel. I'm the founder and CEO of Rusty Quill. Uh, played someone in archives, and I'm uh, co-creator and basically directing uh, Protocol alongside. This, this guy. Right, so in terms of today then, first we've got some business off the top. Number one, spoilers. Spoilers galore, like heffing great walking spoilers. Because what we are doing today is we are doing a little bit of a debrief, a little bit of a chat, a little bit of a chit chat. A bit of a post-mortem. Post-mortem, that's a better way of putting it. Of, I mean, it's of, not fully alive yet, but we can still post-mortem it. It's been it's been a busy time, so we're gonna be uh, talking a bunch about like pilot, answering some questions, maybe some stuff about the ARG, MCM, uh, and basically just it's it's recapping because a lot happened really quickly, and finally we can start talking about protocol in a way that people will know what we're referring to a lot of the time, rather than just being like, cool, this means nothing to me. Um, so yeah, that's generally speaking what the idea of today is. We will be uh, looking at like chat questions on the fly and things like that, but it's it's quite a chill one, quite a sort of uh oh, kind of a touchy feely uh, discussion, I guess. Okay, he's back. Sorry, am I still there? Uh, yeah, you you had a you had a like you had for me you had a little bit of a uh, I oh, oh, oh. um okay. seeing. Okay, there are a okay. couple of oh no's in the chat, but I think we're back. I think we got away with it. Okay, 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 good. Uh, beyond that, um, yeah, it's basically giving some heads up as to like what's happening next, when it's happening, and how and why, and so on, as much as we can. So first things first, Johnny, how are you yeah, feeling? Hey. Every, uh, every, not Well, not everyone hates it. Yeah, no, no, not everyone hates it. People liked it. People liked it, Alex. I'm... Um, I'm very pleased uh, that people liked it. I'm very pleased that I liked it because uh, I hadn't actually heard the... And while it's not... I'm aware that it's not the, like, the final fully mastered mix. Um, I, like, I, I, it was the first time I'd heard it all assembled together in, uh, in like, the way it will be. And so I, like, on honestly, at the, pro the, the premiere, I was a bit like, I hope I like it. This could be terrible. Oh, if I don't like it, then the next three years are going to be really awkward. Uh, but, <laughs> luckily, I thought it was great. I thought it was fine. I thought it was, I thought it was decent. Like, I thought, like, I mean, everyone involved, fantastic. Uh, and then, my words, I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm alright. I really struggle listening to, or, or like, I really struggle, like, consuming stuff I have worked on because all I can hear is like the little bits I change or like 
or being like, oh, no, if I'd known that that was going to be the delivery, I'd have waited it this way or, you know, that sort of thing. But I'm very yeah, happy. Too late, it's flawless. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's 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 all that's all a you thing, I'm sure. Uh, heads up for everyone who's asking because it keeps happening. Uh, I have a few pre-made answers for you. What? How do I listen to this pilot preview? Okay, number one, we're going to be talking about the pilot quite a lot. So, like, if you haven't heard it, this this is going to ruin vast tracts of it for you. Nonetheless, if you are on a paid Patreon tier, you already have access to the pilot preview. It's on there. Uh, knights and nobles so they're sort of higher level um have access to the full digital premiere so that's the one where it has a bit of a q a in it and has a documentary sneak peek and all kinds of stuff like that uh, and yeah if you are a kickstarter backer but not a patron you should have received a a basically some link and instructions and all that jazz and if you're still having issues send a message to mail at rustyquill.com and they will they will sort you out but i will repeat a thing which is a a, a gentle request from cons which which is to everyone who says I definitely backed and has and clearly clearly didn't. It's quite easy for them to check. Like it's really quite easy. And there's been about a, like a hundred people have been like, yeah, I definitely should get this. That's like, so no, many you... chances. Yeah, quite quite a lot of people have That's been like, yeah, I definitely weird. get this. And then they check like, and like, no, I've, I'm really sorry, you don't. I've I've run a bunch of like Kickstarters for various RPG stuff, and like obviously the scale and the numbers are much smaller, but. I don't think we've ever had anyone who's just like straight up chance in their arm and being and like, uh, yeah, I uh, I backed it. So can I? Uh, can yeah, I it's it's one free? of those things. We've there's a there's a couple of things that have been like that where you just hit a certain level and you're like, well, that's ballsy in a way that I'm not. But it's, you know, I right. guess it's one of those things where like it's not so much like a proportion where like oh you know. Three percent or whatever. It's yeah, just, it's, it's a, just, not a it's just when you that. when you hit a level, it's a flip switch that yeah, yeah. flips, and it's like we haven't had the thing that I was afraid of, which is someone going, "How dare you? I I backed at the absolute tippy top layer," and then how, us having to be like, "Are you sure?" and then double checking and all of that. No, it's fine. Basically, it's all it's all grand. But yeah, if you haven't been able to listen to it, them's your options. Um. Um, uh, the 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 alternative option uh, is of course to wait for the finalised finished one uh, in then, January, uh, uh, and until then you listen to that you watch this stream and you just like kind of get confused, draw your own conclusion, create your own pilot based on what you infer from what we talk about. Um, speaking of, because I'm just I'm getting all the boring ones out of the way at this point. Um, everyone who's asking like time and date of the exact launch and so on this that's not going to be getting revealed in this um dream it will be announced close to the time it will be in january that's all that's all i can give you at this stage uh and then the other one a lot of people complaining about uh sort of a a high-pitched wine that was a fun one so i might dive into that oh yeah i saw one or two of those yeah so we did a we did a frequency analysis basically and what it comes down to is uh, the the very 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 first sort of premiere version of the audio had a, a high frequency, uh, a, a comparatively loud high frequency, a specific frequency, uh, and the version that then went out via Patreon, I think it was, and everything else has that already stripped, and it's not going to be in the finished product or anything like that. But what it is is actually a rather fun and odd side effect, which is we're using loads of sound effects from old tech. Now, for for those of you who are the, the the less young side including myself um you might remember the old crt monitor sounds where it's like you turn an old tv on for instance and it has that sort of and it's like a really old high heads, pitch no. thing that just true old heads yeah no. exactly and it, it was it was really annoying and it wasn't an age thing it was just a, it's just that kind of the sound of a monitor turning on and that kind of thing now a a bunch of people are like, oh, they're so old they can't hear it. I'll have you know I can, because I had no life and barely listened to any headphones until I was about 18. Uh, so I can hear it, um, although probably not as much as others. What it is, is a um, a layering. So basically, the, the the thing isn't just, here's a computer, and we recorded it. It's it's multiple layers of a thing. So what ends up happening is a compounding of that, of that specific frequency. Um, so as a result, if you're using a specific type of setup and headphones, which isn't an uncommon one, it can suddenly be like, oh, over the top. So suffice it to say, we know what that is. Already filtering it out, it's fine. But a bunch of uh, older listeners have already been in contact going, hi, I think 
I think I know what that is, and it, it, it distresses me that we thought that was normal for so long. <laughs> um, to be clear, it's a little worse than it would have been originally because it's a couple of layers, but yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's literally... What, so it's just like game. our brains are like, yes, that is the sound of a computer. And all the young people and are like, what is like, this hellish wine? Yeah, any, anyone post 2000 ah! is like, how did you live like this? But then cranked up, obviously. That's very funny to me. So yeah, uh, suffice it to say, oh, also, it'll be removed. Uh, Don't worry about it. From it's it's chat, slipped the net. Zero uh, of Time 100, uh, you, you mentioned that your birthday is also in January, so I'm pretty confident I can announce officially uh, that it will be coming out on your birthday. Obviously, I can't take any responsibility if you have got traditionally Johnny, I got... spat out my dinner. Like, I mean, I can't take any responsibility if they get their birthday wrong, if they've like been celebrating it on the wrong day for most of their life. Uh, but uh, I can officially announce that the day oh. that it comes out is is your birthday. The internet is forever, it will Johnny. Be your birthday. <laughs> it will officially change. We'll we'll be in touch to get that. So, uh, anywho, corrected. I think I think we've got our like here are the common ones that we knew were going to come up out of the way stuff um beyond that then uh i'm trying to think so you know what i'm going to open it up to to chat because i can see chat which is uh if if any of you have got burning questions by the way i can't be bothered doing a proper qa thing so just hock them in there and i might notice it and then q r a that's in q hour a not q r a question rant We've done the IRL premiere, we've done MCM, uh, we've done the sort of what they're calling the soft release of the pilot and so on. Uh, what's the meaning of life? Remind me to return to that one, I've got an answer for you. Uh, uh, do I like Sour Patch so Kids? Uh, they're not my favourite of the Sour Candies. Uh, my favourite of the Sour Candies is uh, you used to be able to get these like thick ribbons uh, of um, gelatine that had like sugar and like sour sugar coated and those were oh they were good i don't know what they were called asking asking the real questions here um <laughs> okay okay there's one that i'm going to use as an example to start things off right okay what's the deal with the bouchard character that's a good example of a question where it's like let's take a moment I, even if i want to give you the information how how is that answerable i don't it's, it's like, Johnny, what's the deal with you? Like, what's what's the deal? Uh, I how mean... You, how do you answer a question like that? I'm yeah, genuinely curious. I, I wish I had it. Like, I, I was like, oh, that's fine. I clearly have a funny pat answer that I can give immediately. And then I was like, oh, no. No. No, I've lost it. I, uh, I, genuinely, I genuinely don't have a... Don't have much of a one. Um... Oh, here's one. Will we ever come to America for a convention? Um, I'm going to keep trying to see if I can make that happen, but um, I, I wouldn't hold I need breath. to if follow up to see if I'm allowed to, to fly to America See, this now. is the thing. Actually, um, you, should, you should share your story of why Johnny's you know, not allowed to leave the Oh, country. so I was, I was due to be... Uh, so the, the short answer is I was part of a medical trial uh, for a vaccine uh, in the early days of COVID. Um, Super soldier serum. Uh, which uh, you know went fine, uh, and the the Valneva vaccine uh, was uh, was approved for use in Europe, but for whatever reasons, uh, ended up not being approved, uh, or just not like it, it wasn't like not a, it wasn't like rejected, just didn't get around to being approved um, in America because those things uh, at, at that point the priority of that was dropping. Um, and so uh, I've not been able, but because the vaccine is not one of the ones that the, the sort of the NHS classifies as for like, for like a vaccine passport, I discovered about a day before I was due to fly that uh, I couldn't get the vaccine passport that America required to to fly over, um, and wasn't allowed on the plane, which uh, sucked. Um, and only completely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I, to, I, I don't know what the current um, transatlantic flying requirements are, so it might be that that's no longer an issue. It might be that I, I need to figure something See, out. See, I'm enjoying chat that are like, oh, you failed the questionnaire, like, have you committed a crime? And it's like, no, Johnny wrote, I am the crime. And then they were like, whoa. Yeah, Michelle Amber says they don't even ask for vaccination in the US or Canada anymore. What's weird is, 
they didn't like literally the only part of the process that required any sort of proof of vaccination was the flight you know like there was no vaccine requirement on either end it was literally just the flight itself that had this system that it was like no a good example of the kind of thing that sabotaged previous attempts for a, a us thing but i still hold out hope it's definitely getting improving but uh, don't hold your breath that's all um okay 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 uh, apparently we've got a couple of recurring questions that I've been uh, said to mention, which is, are we coming back to MCM? Okay. Technically, I'm not allowed to say yes because it's not our event and they could turn around and go, oh, very dead you! Uh, we, I, I fully intend for us to. I mean, I'll come back to MCM if I'm doing something there. See, this, like... is, this is the thing. So, I, I, like, Likelihood is all signs point to yes, but that's not the same thing as a personal guarantee because I can't give that because I don't control who's at MCM. I wish I did that. That'd be cool. Uh, oh, Lorelei Marivane, is TMP going to be the same route as TMA where there'll be no official art releases and thus uh, no chance of a graphic novel? So, um, I, I've... I'll be... A lot of the... A lot of the, like adaptation a lot of the alternative stuff uh, in terms of uh protocol as with archives depends on uh what what the licensing uh, what ends up getting licensed by who uh like the, the monty cook game is a really good example of this uh because at the end of the day we don't really have the the capacity to be doing big adaptations into other me media stuff I, I mean i'm speaking kind of on behalf of rusty quill here but i i uh, so correct me if I'm talking completely out my ass here, Alex. Uh, you're you're wrong. We own Hollywood. We just choose not to be on TV because it's so gauche. <laughs> but like, I mean, at the end of the day, Rusty Quill is a podcast production company, which means that uh, production in other spheres and other media is generally going to be through uh, licensing uh, with other companies. Which means it depends on what license, what companies uh, want to license what, what the terms are, all this sort of stuff. Um, in terms of uh, like official art, we generally have a, a policy of uh, we don't do like we don't do in inverted commas canonical art, uh, as in to say this is exactly what a character from a um, uh, from a, a podcast uh, looks like. Uh, in terms of a graphic novel, I mean, similar. It's, there was this big conversation um, when the when the Magnus Archives RPG was uh, was funding because they obviously have a lot of a lot of character art because you know we it would not have been fair to us uh, fair of us to say to Monty Cook Games yes please make this great RPG based on our property just don't depict any of the iconic characters situations or events is that okay. Um, but the uh, but uh, all like, the, the best RPG systems can be played entirely on Excel. <laughs> but the thing is, like these are all just artists' interpretations of, like, of vibes of characters of like events, and it would be the same with a with a the graphic novel with a graphic novel if it ever ha if something like that ever happened, these would be not be like canon. This is exactly what they look like. This is this would be. Well, this is what this artist, like, this is how this artist sees and depicts these characters. It always makes me think of um, Neverwhere, which uh, was originally oh, yeah, yeah. like I originally saw the like the 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 nineteen nineties TV show. Um, so I always picture oh, like, God, that's a blast from the past. Yeah, oh, it's not good, but oh, some great <laughs> performances in. Like Ringy endorsement. Uh, like, well, no, but like Patterson Joseph is amazing as the Marquis de Carabas, um, uh, uh, Hugh Bennett, and uh, Clive. Uh, you Clive? The the Krupp and Vandermar are so good in it. But the thing is, like, those are just some actors who have been cast, and like there have been, and like the the book that is generally considered more authoritarian. Well, or, more of an authority on like it, it's generally considered the true version even though it was done after the tv show depict describes Krupp and Vandermeer in ways that don't actually gel with the dip with uh, how they look on the um in the tv series and there have also been there was also a comic book which drew them completely yeah. different 
Oh, I forgot about um, that. And so, like, it's like, well, which of these is, like, the true depiction? It's like, mm, none of them, really. Like, the the actual truth is that, that these characters don't really look like anything because they exist in an audio medium, you know? That it, like... I would say, this time around, we've already done it a bit with the ARG, which is you are more likely to encounter some depictions. And that's not the same thing as a canonical depiction, but it's like there are now depictions of Bonzo out there, you know, that we yeah. have put out there. But that's not the same thing as us going around policing people. Like, you can change the colour schemes of stuff and it, it wouldn't matter. Like, it's just a case of, I know that historically we were very, very reticent to put anything out at all. Yeah. It'd be a little less extreme than that this time around because people have, have, have basically proven that it's not a huge issue if, yeah. if we do uh, also like things. a lot of it is just a lot of it is just the fact that like people will be like well what do you think these characters look like and it's like what i i mean i i think i think gwen looks like anusha i think sam looks like shahan because like i i so don't interesting for archives that wasn't the case for this really one, 100%. no I, like I, you asked wasn't. me to I picture a completely different visualization but for this one no they're all i mean like you asked me to picture Melanie, I am picturing Lid. Like, th just, that is how my brain works, is that if someone, like... Oh, so it was only for some people. That's oh, yeah, there is... Okay. Hold on, there, there is a, a cat. Uh... Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely destroying the light balance of my uh, shot. You but... balance your lights? Or... No, uh, like, it, it, it's, just, it's just worse. With my massive it's just getting blown forehead. out. He's... Uh... Um... So that's interesting. So, like, for me, for visualizations, uh, you don't look like the archivist in my head, which is interesting. Well, the Magnus archives, at least. I mean, like, I, I, I do in mine. You look like Martin. <laughs> like, and what's weird is like I will describe like in the podcast. I will like if there are physical we descriptions. Actively describe them as not. I know. I know, which is oh. which is why which is why asking me, oh, what do I think they look like is absolutely pointless because it's like, well, what I think they look like is not even how I've described them in the <laughs> in the show. Like, so that's interesting because I'm doing that with protocol, which has been um, okay. So, uh, pilot's a good example where, in order to make life easier for the sound designers, we have like a a, a, a pseudo blueprint of what of what the OIAR offices look like, so that it's like okay, mm. we, we're listening from this perspective and blah blah blah. It's really useful. I've not done it before for this, uh, but for this one, it's kind of essential. And having done it, I, I get it. Never had to do it before because I've just gone. I know where I am, so I'll just tell people. It's way easier to you know point at a plan, but the plan for execution and the actual building in my head are radically different because the building in my head is utterly unmakeable in audio like it would yeah. it would sound like garbage because it's just the place that we used to work it's literally royal like okay so for anyone who doesn't know because we, we've mentioned this a couple of times but johnny and i met at a night job which let's be honest the oiar is is pretty it's, it's pretty it's on. pretty it's, it's drawn very heavily from so as a result the locations that are written are absolutely in my head the locations that we had uh, in terms of yeah. break room offices, uh, yeah, like when I'm like picturing manager's office, like it's 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 actually just that's that not space. quite true. I'm actually I actually am picturing the break room from a different era of that company, which me too. With, me too. Were you ever when um, oh, I forget which. Uh, Liverpool Street. Were you? Uh, were you still yes. working there at Liverpool that's the Street? One. I've merged them. I've merged. Ha, the yeah, because that's the break room Street. I'm imagining as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously the basement from. Uh, yeah, of course, Mormon. of course. Yeah. The horrendous asbestos-filled nightmare basement. Mm. But yeah, so that's odd. Oh, that's odd. We've both a weird made an amalgam. I think it, it might just be that the break room at Liverpool Street, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Liverpool Street, was more of a like. A platonic break room, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, yeah. it was just more. It was just closer to 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 the, you know, your your mental idea of a of a break room. Mm. Okay, I'm curious then, Johnny. Protocol. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite bit from the pilot? Now that people have heard it, what's the bit that you like? I really like that. Ooh. 
Because I've got one, and I think I'm alone in it, because at the premiere, no one clocked it. Interesting. I absolutely love, absolutely love the line, people like cake. It's a yes. great um, line. Um... It's a really good line. I love that line. You wrote that, and I went, oh, that's a keeper. And at the premiere, no one clocked it, and I was like, guys, you should the best bit this is the best bit of the episode people haven't tuned it people love. people haven't there's not a lot of lena in the first episode and people haven't tuned into her yet people um, like cake i i i think that i i, I don't to be fair i don't know if people are gonna clock into lena i don't know she's an odd one uh, i think uh, so i think so certainly from episode sort of 10 plus uh yeah worth knowing for people that basically the way it works we have to sustain multiple timelines, so like, because I'm show running and writing as well, it's like, we have what's released, what's at soundscape, what's at music, vocals, all the way down to like, what's being written. So as a result, it's it's kind of a, a smear at my end, but I reckon, I reckon 10 plus people, people get Lena's jam. I think so. I do, I do enjoy loads the fact that everyone's like, oh my god, look! That's clearly Gwendolyn Bouchard, who's in charge, as the uh, from the trailer. And then I was not saying anything and just letting people be wrong. That was really fun. Really enjoyed that. Um, start. I'm. Uh, for me, I think honestly, my favourite bit was just all the old tech noises. You know, like bit of a blast from the past. Not just the a blast from the past. They were used very well. Like as like. The, the the turning on and off noises from the start and end of different scenes and like different bits of technology, were yeah we can hear you buddy, I know you've had your dinner already. Um, but sorry. Uh, it's okay. It's just I'm chuckling. We have such a strange energy. There's half of like there's you yelling at cats whilst everyone else goes meow, and then there's a highlighted question of literally just going like, I wonder how the Excel spreadsheets work for multiple timeline stories. Uh, like a- Alakon, uh, you, can, you can you can see the cat though. like if if the cat gets up in any sort of vicinity where I can easily turn the camera, you can see the cat. I I'm I'm currently angled higher than I was before because there was a cat just up here. Uh, but uh, oh. Notice that uh, mm. I have no cats here. You know, despite having a cat. Yeah, you have a cat, but your your cat has never. Your cat's like a, a recluse. My, like... my my cat doesn't need the attention. Oh, my cats absolutely need the attention. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this has become a very specific dream, hasn't okay. it? Hello. Come on, buddy. This this is the ambassador. Sorry, uh, what were we saying? Uh, things that you actually liked about it, and you said. Oh yeah, the the old tech noises uh, is really good, um, and just like hearing hearing the the voices, like I think I think I I on I I don't want to be like picking a voice actor and being like oh that, but like honestly, Colin's voice actor was re- like yeah, yeah. because Colin's lines were kind of weird. And I was like, oh, I I really hope we could, I really hope, like, whoever's doing it ends up, like, properly dialed in. And hearing that and being like, yes, it was good. Yeah, I, I ca- casting wise, it's been a, it's been a joy. Um, it's, <laughs> sorry, it's... So, sorry, you're just like, casting wise, it's, it's been a joy. Like, your, no, your, your whole manner was so much despair, and then yeah, just yeah, the word yeah. joy came out, and I was like, no, oh, okay. No, what it, what it is, is it's been so funny watching, so specifically, uh, uh, Shahan and Anusha, so that's, uh, Sama oh, and, yeah. uh, Gwendolyn, because we have. Not Shahan to put anyone on blast. No, but you've got Shahan who's like, tell me nothing. I yeah. want nothing. And I'm like, cool, well, you're going to need to know what happens in the next episode. Really? He doesn't know. I don't want to know. Why would I want to know? Tell me backstory. Don't tell me your future story. And then you've got Anusha who's like, I couldn't possibly play this character unless I know the next 60 episodes of yeah, their Yeah, and it's, it's and fascinating. And they're both perfectly valid, but it's so... <laughs> it's, it's, it's fascinating because, like... I, I, they're so opposite the spectrum as well because like Anusha's like a fan and like really knows her shit and Shahan like listened to like two episodes and I'm like good that's absolutely fine um 
because like I, I, I honestly don't know which is which is better from a, a an acting point of view. I think they both have their strengths in terms of like yeah, yeah. knowing your shit inside out or coming to something like completely fresh. Um, but it's it's just it's been a fascinating. Uh, it's been it's been really fun. Uh, starting to get to know starting to get to know people, um, especially because I, I mean I we, I can uh, if you've listened to the, the pilot if, if you listen to to the pilot you'll you'll understand why. Me and uh, Alex have not been... Well, Alex has been directing uh, the recordings, but I've not actually been in uh, any of the sort of group recording sessions. So, like, I'm I'm still... I'm sort of still meeting a lot of the actors in Dribs and Drabs. Um, and oh, that's, they're all lovely. Oh, yeah. So far... Yeah, genuinely. Uh, I have to admit that... <laughs> Colin's recordings have been some of the most interesting, because... Uh, shit gets weird faster. I, I'm happy to, to spoil slightly. Uh, so there's there's been interesting weirdness there. But um, yeah, what's what's been fascinating is um, I think I think this new cast has more chemistry than we as a group had last time. Well, I mean, uh, the the thing is, last time it was mainly our mates, which meant that we had a lot of like mates chemistry off mic. And I think that often translated to a good chemistry on mic, but they're not always one to one. Your off, your off, uh, your off mic chemistry is not necessarily the same as your on mic chemistry. Um, and like, there was no, I, I, I don't think there was anyone in archives that uh, like didn't do a fantastic job, or that I'm like, I'm not very happy to have ended up casting. But that's mainly through luck. In a lot of ways, and the fact that we happened to know a lot of like very good, uh, very good voice actors, because the 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 process was a lot of the time. Okay, who do we know? Who do we know that we haven't used yet? Uh, <laughs> who's within three miles? Yeah, well, and, and also, and it's not through. just who do we know who's <laughs> uh, hasn't been used yet, but who do we know who can make it out to Alex's house uh, in Outer London? um on a saturday uh so like uh but this one because obviously we've got a lot more resources um uh, uh i mean i i haven't been uh intimately involved in casting but um like it's it's been proper casting rather than uh rather than uh, tim get, get over here i need someone to scream a bunch so uh, there's two questions I've noticed on casting which I think are probably worth uh, addressing. One, because it keeps coming up and hasn't ever been mentioned, which is I, um, I keep seeing shows like uh, Re Dracula where there's just like loads and loads of Magnus people like are those uh, like official things and blah blah blah. It's that simple. People listen to a large group and go, yeah they're pretty god, we'll invite them. It's a, it's, like, a, it's a smaller, like it's a smaller industry than uh, you might think in in a lot of ways, and like I think like uh, Ray Dracula is a very interesting one. Um, same with uh, Carmilla because those it, it, it that one specifically was quite deliberately being made as a bit of a who's who in in like the indie audio drama vo a voice acting thing. Like it was very much like. The people behind it, uh, I know one or two of them, and they were very much like looking at popular audio dramas and saying like, "Well, who from this would work really well as?" It was almost a casting first project in many ways. Um, so, like, it makes a lot of sense that with a project like that, you get uh, like you do tend to get a lot of people from places like uh, Magnus or Wooden Overcoats or this sort of thing because the, the those are the those are the shows that that have gotten the most reach and have uh, people sort of uh, people know the voices um Whereas, and generally speaking from our end we try to bring in as many new voices as you can unless there's someone who just leaps out at you so like um although there were auditions and so on like Shahan it shouldn't be a surprise playing yeah. Samama because that was one way you just like, oh yeah, that's that's gonna work. We did auditions, but shocker, it was really good. Yeah. Like, some some things just kind of. And like, I think I think with Rusty Cool, you generally when there are new when there are new casting notices, they will go out internally to everyone who's 
like yeah, yeah. done voice yeah, yeah. work for Rusty Quill before, as well as uh, wider, yeah. which means you tend to have a decent uh, like. It's very it's it's rare that you have like whole cast transfers, but you will often have voices shared between multiple. Well, at, r- at risk stuff. of at risk of like overshare, like as a as creative director hat on for a thing, I kind of veto whole voice transfers. Um, you you should have fresh voices in there. Um, because otherwise it goes a bit weird. Hey, anyway. Kareem's in the chat. Oh, hey, Kareem. Oh God, he's cast everywhere, isn't he? He's even been cast <laughs> as our chat. <laughs> Hello. So one... Sorry, we were just talking was... about casting. There was one highlighted um, uh, highlight question, which I thought was a good one, which was people clocking that you've got completely different formats. Um, so the state, the well, they're not statements anymore, but the the case. We're, bit, we're we're having to we're really uh, having to catch ourselves because there. Okay, yeah. Let's the thing is, there are second, one right. or two. I'm I'm the word police on this one. I think I think we both I think Very we both much. are word policing each other on this. Uh, because I think we both are finding ourselves talking about them as statements sometimes. It's like, no, they're not statements, they're cases. Because, like, a statement is kind of a subsect of a case, and, like, yep. there will be certain cases that are are basically ca- uh, statements in, in the archive sense. Um, but a lot of and it, I think, is just... Is, yeah, I think of a couple of them as statements, but, yeah, I keep correcting cast and crew being like, no, it's a case... Yeah. Why? Because the statement's a different thing. Yeah, they they are. They're different. Um, but how have you been finding writing to uh, more varied formats for cases? Oh, I, I, I love it. Um, I'll, I'll I got very good at doing statements by the end. Uh, but it also, I mean, there's only so many times that you can write the the same format of thing. Um, mm. before you're like, I wouldn't mind branching out. Uh, and turns out 200 is about about that number. Well, actually, 160 is about that number, which is why things started to get a little bit weird uh, in season five in terms of how that stuff was uh, formatted and told. Uh, but like, even been, then, yeah. season five was generally like weird statements, like slightly slightly messed up statements rather than something that wasn't a, a classic uh, statement. Whereas this. Because we have deliberately, we've deliberately handcuffed ourselves. Like everything needs to have an in-universe format for it. Um, like it, we're having a lot of. Fun. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it at least. I've uh, no, I've been, I've been loving it. Um, I've been trying to set myself the goal of reusing as few formats as possible, and mm. it's taken some weird routes where it's like it's, it's not spoilery because it's just format where it's like. One of them is an insurance claim. That was a fun one. Um, yeah. Another one is, uh, I mean, like it, it wouldn't be a reveal to be like, yes, obviously you're going to get witness statements for stuff. Shocker, like, yeah. given what's going on. But like, um, one that people won't know yet is we're working in a few of the cases are a bit more um, so diegetic, if you know what that means, as in like in universe. So stuff like, you know, the audio excerpt from Lost John's Cave way back in archives where like they had a little bit of it. There, there's a few of them that are. You there know, are a few of them that are like voice like that, calls, there's... for instance. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. So those that's going to be interesting. Um, I got to, I, I really, really enjoyed, and I don't think you've read it yet, um, going, doing a proper old school statement. Mm, yeah sometimes basically you being able to, th- to be like there is a threat to christendom because that's <laughs> oh the whole God. world right now oh, oh did you use the word christendom yeah, yeah. You, of course you used the word christendom okay yeah that's... it was great it's... all right good 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 i wrote it, it was just like happy. oh that's horrible and i love it what's yeah, fascinating been, been... what's fascinating is that is is how for each of the formats you've got to pick you've got to figure out when the turn comes like what is the point in the format where you Mm. have weighted the format heavily enough that you can start to deviate you can start to like stretch out a bit into the horror story um because there are some formats there are some formats where you actually never do that where you're like Mm. you're keeping it very buttoned down into the format the whole way through because the format has like Demand. has the right sort of rhythm and structure to deliver the scares but there are also formats where like i think the majority of formats at a certain point 
you've got to like you got you got you got to, you got to loosen the corset a bit and uh, let the horror breathe. I think there's three. I think there's broadly speaking, and this is very broad. I an oversimplification. I think there's sort of three general ways it pans out. One is a cheat. Uh, which is fine, and that's not said as like a as a as a derogatory yeah. term. It's just a, I, I use it as a as a, a phrase to mean like a writer's kind of shortcut, which is perfectly valid. And that'd be something. Oh, witness like, statement that is basically. This, or, well, no, it's be, it'd be more something along the lines of like someone starts writing, I don't know, a shopping list, and then suddenly halfway through, it, it basically becomes oh, a, a, yeah, a, a yeah. case. And it's because they use the paper or whatever. Like that's valid, and you and then you basically just yeah, like you say, you're doing just a normal kind of uh, a kind of case, and you're not playing to the format. It's just a a fun kind of in. The second one is sort of what you're talking about, where you have to find that transition into creepy. Find the little pivot point where you can. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's that's getting the, that sense the... of when the format is way is heavy enough that you can start to lay stuff down on like the narrative and the spooky without overbalancing it. Yeah, that one's trickiest, I think. And then the last one is the one that I enjoy the most, but it's I don't think it happens as often, which is l- what you were saying where just you never loosen the corset and it just gets tighter, which is you just write something that has so much unsaid stuff that it's just echoing so loudly and every single thing is super contributing to the creepy without actually being like, and then it was raw, and you just sort of all of the things that aren't being said are the, are the problem. Yeah. Um, those, I think, are the most technically fun, but I don't think they come up that often because it, it, that's the one, I think, that relies most on the format. Yeah. I think, the, I mean. I think the one I've done that um, is most... that I feel is m- like most kept straight down the format but still brought it uh, is uh, obviously not gonna, but you know, is is number ten. Um, yeah, the, the yeah, interview. yeah, yeah, yeah. I so that's a that's the quintessential example of what I I think of with that. Um, there's one I did which was a, an autopsy, which is a similar one. Like, mm, yes. Like, no, this is going to be a prop per autopsy report. No, going off on one, this is going to be a a proper autopsy report. I mean, and I'm gonna make it as as I can. I mean, well, you, you, you say that, Alex, but exactly. I haven't finished my edit yet. So who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just be like, Ooh. final comments. It was a dark and stormy night when this occurred. <laughs> <laughs> so there is, um, there is one that, a message that came through earlier, which I clocked and have been uh, kind of holding on to because I thought it'd be a good one. Which is um, funny because you're stumbling onto something, not you know, like a. Oh, but just a ha 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 you kind of way, which was um well I wonder how the OIAL would handle two cases of the same event. Uh, to which the answer, which will mean nothing to anyone, was like, oh that's easy. They just have different DPHWs. You might even get a miscategori- miscategorization, but they know what that is. Yeah. yeah, they're just given different DPHWs. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Place your bets. Do you reckon anyone's gonna be able to figure out DPHW prior to it being uh properly said? I will say. We'll see. We will see. Uh, I think it's. I think it's a long shot. I also think, like it is. It it is also like I. I. I think it's fun because it's one of those things that is going to attract a lot of speculation, a lot of theorizing, and ultimately, it's 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 a bit of, it's, it's, it's a, bit of a red herring. You you don't know that. Um, okay. 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 Um, oh, to to whoever asked, what's it like having Johnny as your editor? Um, wildly frustrating, because he's objectively better than me when it comes to cases. Yeah. Um, I think there's a there's a back and forth when it comes to the scenic work. Yeah, with a like... case, he'll go. Yeah, I added some more cannibals to this one, and I'm like, you did. How dare? Oh no, that's right. No, yeah, that's that's loads better. It's really frustrating because he'll just sweep in, and the same way that I'm quite good at structure, he'll just look at it and go. Well, yeah, it's obvious. You need more blob, and then you'd be like, "What? You don't? Uh, oh no! Oh yeah! Cut! 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 There we go." It's it's he's very it's... good at skipping all of the, the the noise, I guess, and bringing out the signal. Oh, thank you. Like I, I like I'm I'm really enjoying like the going back and forth on dialogue stuff is really interesting because um, like there are different characters that I think we have locked into in different ways. 
like I Donny and I keep fighting over Alice. We keep fighting over Alice. I like I I like I can I've I I've actually started to struggle to get Lena a bit. Whereas you, I think, have locked into Lena very, very, uh, very handily. Uh, like Lena and Gwen's dynamic. I th- I feel like I occasionally have to like I, I occasionally like add a little bit of context or something because I think I think the thing is you write Lena as as terse as she should be. Which is which is great for characterization, but often it's means that I'm like, there's some information that actually does need to be said in this scene, Alex. So I know that. But what's happening? I know she here? wouldn't say it, but she's got to say it. <laughs> yeah, that, that's very true. That's very very true. I give nothing. I give no information. It's all subtext, which is fine. But at some point, you do actually have to tell people something. I hate it. Tell them nothing. And uh, and but like I you, you you write Alice meaner than I do, I yeah, I find yeah. I'm like oh, I, absolutely I'm I'm I I, I genuinely give uh, Alice more corners. But although interestingly, you you don't even know this, Johnny. This is hot mm. off the press. So up to the most recent episodes we've been working on, I've generally been writing Alice as a little bit saucy, a little bit little bit like making the odd crude joke to throw people off. Uh, and you've been tending to rein it in. And then there was one episode. <laughs> oh, I know like, this one. Vile. No, absolutely not. And I've Whoa. genuinely gone in and reined it in a little bit. Because it was just like... That was the point. That was the joke. Me. No, but it was so far. It went through <laughs> extreme. Through comically extreme. Into just like... Oh, I oh, disagree. That's gross, Johnny. Rain I it. disagree. You you are you overplayed that card, but it's the fact that you've been reining her in the whole time, and then just suddenly went. <laughs> that's well, that's the thing. That's the Too thing. Much. Like Too much. you know. Also, you're, you're, I'm like... still reining in all the swears. Johnny keeps trying to. Oh, what what the what the sneak... fuck? I'm sorry. Johnny you have been you have sworn you have sworn more in these scripts than I have. Uh, whoa! You have whoa, sworn more no. in these scripts than I have. Run the numbers. Run the fucking numbers, mate. Yeah. So what I do is I I write it and then it's I just go that back you don't notice it. when you do it. When I oh, uh, there there I think I've put in I, I okay the word shit has appeared quite a lot because that's uh, that's been that's been you've Alice's you've got shit. a lot of shits you've had at least two fucks. Nope, they've all been cut. No, <laughs> no, I think one of them st- stayed. One of them that you wrote has definitely stayed. Um, well, you, I definitely saw Gwen, two of them. Gwen gets gets to say fuck at one point. I, 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 two. I saw two. I think I, I think I clipped one of them, but uh, I could be wrong. No, I've been, I've been raining them in like mad. Also, uh, guest writers really sweary. Not all of them, but a couple of them are like, right, cock mm. in, and I'm like, no, we're gonna, we're gonna rain, rain this one in a little bit. Um, not so much. It's none of them has been as bad as your, your. This is going to be a very sweary prisoner from archives. Like, oh <laughs> yeah. To be fair, None that was that. that was that was just a straight up like push it like that was just a straight up finding the line, you know. Okay, okay, okay. In that case then, I've got a few of the 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 mods have been shortlisting some some recurring questions. Uh any thoughts on the fan response and response to the ARG just in general? Um I'm happy to go first. In terms of the ARG, um, oh, I'm glad that worked. <laughs> like, that could have not worked. And if it didn't, that would have been really quite bad, because that would have been people sort of... Oh, we would have just been embarrassing. Yeah. Like, like, it's fine. Like, there's a couple of things in there I've gone... I'll, uh, it would have just I'll been out... Like, I, To be that, fair, there is a part of me that does like the idea of Alex just sitting in a car, all dressed up in like your hat and your dark glasses and just being like for like five hours and just sat there i was incognito for a very long time uh oh gosh of course some of you won't know okay cool fun fun the arg story then this is a complete sidebar from the the fandom stuff we'll get back to it uh i picked a fight well sort of with an organization so we had a location that was like this is where we're going to do a, a, a dead drop which is where <clears throat> people t- turn up and they pick up a clue. And it was effectively the last sort of physical clue of the ARG. Um, I can tell people what it is. It's so weird. I'm hitting that point where, oh, I can tell people. Like, it's not a reveal to tell people, and I'm so used to watching out. Uh, basically, it was a, a burnt-out VHS covered in, like, uh, soot and kind of smashed up and so on that did actually have some footage on it of weird, creepy, ritual stuff 
uh, and then a bunch of symbols and so on. Fun fact for people, uh, my family were the other people that you see in that. And uh, we I arranged a family trip to Alderley Edge to record a ritual. And then a bunch of the public turned up and were like, why is he wearing a gas mask when he's going into this cave? And us just saying, it's fine. Everything's fine. Don't look. But anyway, so there was this location that was really, really good. Uh, and I turned up and then later was like, oh, wow, this is fantastic. There's even a burnt out building nearby. Like, didn't know that when the, the location was picked. So it's, it, it hits all of the, the, the notes without being hard to get to or dangerous for people. But what was interesting is it turned out that although publicly it hadn't been said, uh, it was like a big Scientology building. Um, and even though it looks derelict from the outside, it was very much populated. And then uh, they asked if the people who were here to like engage in the ARG wanted to come inside. And there was a big, hang on, is this, <laughs> is this a thing or is this not? And I'm sat there watching from a car going, Would you like to come no, into no, no, our no, no, derelict no. building we don't officially claim to own? <laughs> Uh, and it was, just, it was just a little bit like a oh no 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 no. To be clear, that is not me taking any stances because I am not foolish enough to do that. But that is a case of that was very close to becoming. I mean, I'm happy to take a stance on Scientology. Thumbs down. I I I I can't be dealing with the legals. I just can't. Anyway, suffice it to say that was a that was an odd one. It's, I mean, it's fine. I'll be like, uh, if if they do come after me in a legal way, I will simply retract it. Oh, there you go then. I I, I'm, I have I'm no principles tired. on this. <laughs> anyway, uh, in terms of the fan reaction, I'm glad the ARG went down well. I was really I was really really worried, not because it was likely to go wrong, but. There was a lot of work in that, and of mm. the things that we were doing, it was the one that was most likely to just throw a screw loose, and it did a couple of times. At one point, people stumbled into the back rooms, as it were, but generally speaking, it worked. That was good. And in terms of the pilot, uh, at the live premiere, I was pacing up and down backstage, um, well, actually off to the side, listening to make sure that people were reacting to the, the, uh, the right bits. Uh, and then I have a really weird habit, which uh, even Johnny doesn't know because I've hidden it from everyone, but I'm happy to share it, which is I can't help it when I'm listening to people listening to something that I, especially if I've helped in the writing, not just the directing, I start trying to conduct an audience where I'm like, okay, and the horror falls here. Yes, good. Okay, so we're frightened, we're frightened, we're frightened, we peak. And now we're laughing. Okay, good. I, it's, it's, it's an odd, weird habit. Um... And that yeah, is I was, odd I was and a weird habit. Yes, you're, 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 you're. I was, I was really breaking it in the correct. premiere. Huh? Because, uh, yeah, I. I just sit there like this. I... Johnny was so shaky, just like two inches tall, and looked like he was gonna burn the screen down with his laser vision. But I liked so it. Intense. Uh, in terms of the fan reaction, it's been uh, everything I hoped for. Uh, which is to say, people seem to like it. People seem to be talking about a lot, it a lot. People seem to be theorising about it a lot. Most of the theories are wrong. And uh, crucially, yes. uh, I haven't seen any other weird stuff. So, so that's a win all, on all no. counts from my point it's, of view. It's all been good, and I've just realised to explain my weirdness because I feel like I've I've gave weirdness without context. I want but, you to imagine the but, prestige but, but, but when he's the... taking his bow underneath the stage. That's the kind of thing. Because I don't like actually being, you know, out there. Oh, I'm... sorry. You mean the prestige one is the because the the when the, drowning. Where he's taking, yeah, where he's taking his applause. Sorry, spoilers the stage, for the prestige. But... Also, I guess. So, spoilers at some point in the magic show in the magic trick based film, there is a magic trick. Like, oh no! Well, because I <laughs> said the about the drown. It's fine. David Bowie's in it. It's pretty good actually. David Bowie's really good in it actually. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay, okay, so I think we've answered that one then. Um, Tricky Trilla, but you I, I know the weird stuff will come. I know the weird stuff's already out there, but as long as it doesn't come to me, I'm fine. Like, I support oh, it happening. Some people, were, some people were at the premiere and trying to figure out where I was conducting from. Uh, if you were at the live premiere, there was a black curtain and on the right-hand side that led to the toilets. I literally hung around the toilets, conducting an audience from Why a place of terror. Why didn't you just do it in the green room? Oh, because I couldn't pace in the green room. Because I needed to be close enough to get individual people's reaction. I think you could have paced. I think you could have paced in the green room. No, because it was where the speakers were. It was it's all wrong. Anyway, um, okay. Which of the two pilot cases was your favourite? 
I, I mean the 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 forum one. That was when I had the most fun writing. Um, See, I think I genuinely think your super gothic one I thought was actually uh, the, the 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 story with the the story with the moral. Uh, be careful about wishing for something to come back because it might come back weird and wrong. I mean, more the one that's like. Welcome to this horror podcast. So I was in the graveyard. Like, oh, great. Yeah, you gotta like, you gotta start. You gotta start. You gotta lay. You gotta, you know. You you gotta you gotta just lay down the tone up top. So I have I have to admit, the cases were the bit I was most nervous of. Mm. Yeah. Because this is not a criticism of them. Like. Anglerfish Raw Archives was just straight out of the gate. It, like, it, it, it is very well executed. I, I mean, and for these, I was like, are they good enough? Because everyone's going to sit there and go, right, first episode will be the best episode, so it has to be the best. And I got into my own it's, head about it's that. It's the trick. Like, I mean, it, it, it's the it's the thing where like the first the first ten episodes of well the, the first. Maybe I don't. Know. I, I I'd struggle to put an exact number on it. But the first X episodes of the Magnus Archives are the are the horror story, the short horror stories that've been bubbling away in my head for years, for like what five, ten years, however long I've been like a, a writer. So like they 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 have. I I am proud. I'm very proud of every single one of them because every single one of them, like was was good and had been like simmering away for for ages everything since has been stuff that i have been like drawing in and and like creating bespoke and putting out uh and like i think i've gotten pretty damn good at that um but it does mean that like yeah i was not confident in the the cases for the pilot the way i was confident with anglerfish you know, um, oh, that's that's interesting. Sorry, a bunch of chat have gone like, I really, really liked the canary line. So I'm I'm chuckling because we had a big back and forth over that one. You thought it was a bit too on the nose. No, no. no. Whoa, am, how am dare I, you? Am I, am canary I, am should I stay. Get... So canary stood. Am so canary should stay above ground. Originally, there wasn't anything. I added canary should stay above ground. You were going, uh, it's too on the nose. We tried a few options and none of them worked, and then we went with it as a placeholder. I don't remember that. So basically, we we. I thought I thought I, didn't have I thought one, that was part posted... of the original draft. I could be wrong. No, I don't think it was. I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. I think the original draft had just basically a. This needs something. No, like I with, definitely you know, wrote something. I definitely wrote. Over. I definitely wrote. There was definitely something. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Here's the wonderful but... thing. You can, well, I can look it up. Yeah. This is this is the wonderful wonderful thing. Is now we can genuinely do a look up. So I'm curious, but. People clocked in on that, and I remember there being a a back and forth on that one, which is quite fun. So let's have a look. Let's see what see what turned up. So should we go to what first right. draft? I'm gonna I'm gonna have because it's in active production, so I can just dive straight into stuff. It's it's lovely. Oh, you're you're worried that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna. I'm worried that you're gonna embarrass yourself, mate. So your yeah, first 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 draft. We're opening it up right now. So this is the this is the one I hadn't touched, I don't think. Oh yeah, because you haven't even got the formatting, so definitely not. You wrote bye bye canary. Did I? You wrote bye bye canary, and then basically you sent me a message going, I don't really like this, but it, it'll do. And then eventually we came up with uh, Canary should stay above ground. And then both of us were like, that's not very good. It's a bit on the nose when we went, yeah. I guess oh, we'll yeah, because it was, it was, it was, because it was formatted weird. Like the bye bye was all like running into its, into the same word. Because I was thinking of it as a visual, yeah. as like a visual thing. And you were, and yeah, yeah. you were like, ah, that's not, that's not going to play so well on audio. It's just going to come across as bye bye Canary, which doesn't, which isn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, it's, I, I'm, I'm fascinated that people have, have clocked in on that because genuinely that was one where it's like I think it worked, but we did just go. That 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 that's vaguely creepy, I guess, but it's not very good. Yeah. 
Huh. Interesting. I, th th what's an what an odd little uh, odd little digression there, but yeah, there's been a few. I'll be, of those I'll, where... I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest, Alex. I think it's that people have been starved for good old <laughs> spooky Magnus lines. I don't like it's it's all right, but I think we, I think we've got better ones oh, coming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, uh, here's here's an insight. Here's here's an insight that production won't want me to share, but I'm going to. How's the uh, how's how's the log how's the how's the tagline, Johnny? How's how's that for you? How's that doing? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with I'm happy with the tagline that we that we that we landed on uh, after a lot of discussion. I'm very happy with the tagline that we confirmed uh, and we have definitely decided on. Uh, but I think you say it best is the thing. You really like you oh, right, deliver yeah, yeah. it no, I, in I a way possibly, that I, I can't share it. Oh no no, I, th I think so... I think they deserve to they deserve to, to to hear it. Like you know, I just I like. I would love for you to give a rendition of the tag of no, uh, the sure. tagline we've yeah, absolutely sure. the, we've absolutely we've landed absolutely on. Absolutely locked in. Yeah, absolutely locked the, the in. The one that we locked in. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah, so, the one that we chose so after, after a, a lot of, of discussion. We decided to go with um with 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 ooh I A R, um and that took that took a lot of took a lot of work. You're you you have to take a little bit it. longer to. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, fun fact. Um, I normally get really annoyed at, at, at creators, and I'm like, if you can't even generate a tagline for your show, your show's unbaked. It's unfinished. And I get a tagline. We've got to work for so a many fucking taglines that we've tried, and like we've, we've done like we tried, we tried, well, like we tried, and like I and I've I keep like sending Alex ones and be and 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 he'll be like. That was one of the ones we discarded. Uh, oh, that was one of I the, forgot about that. That was one of the ones we, we discarded. I, I kept being well. like, "How about this one?" And you'd be like, "We discarded that one three months ago." That was a, that was that the, was the second one I suggested, one. or like that was the first one you suggested. Yeah, because you just you just re we, we went full loop after like eight months. We still cannot find a tagline. There's just I none that land right. Working. There's none that hit like make your uh, make your statement face your fear. Yeah, it's bugging me. It's bugging me because it's a failing. It's a failing, and we should be able to do it. So, keep keep posted. But yeah, that's gonna bug. Shall, me. shall we? Shall we? Shall we pull out and and read a couple of the ones that we've that we've rejected? Because I don't know. Maybe yeah, go for it. Go for maybe, it. Maybe maybe one. Maybe someone in the chat. Maybe the chat will like absolutely go off on one for one of them, and we'll be like, oh, actually, maybe that one's really good. Let's just use it. Maybe we've just Alex. Maybe we've just been in our heads for this whole time. Oh yeah. You know, go for it. Maybe that. Yeah, I'm just. I'm, get, I'm getting. Them, I'm getting them. I'm getting them up. Uh, so while you're doing that, I'll answer another one because I feel like it's the kind of thing that you'd be like, eh. Um, are there going to be any awful team building exercises, workshops, and stuff like that? Ooh. I think that there is opportunity I, that's for that. A... It hasn't been hard coded in. There's not. There's. We have not planned out any scenes like that. But you're right. That is a really good. You know who I? Okay. This will mean nothing to fans thing. for years. You know who I want to tie to uh, team building and exercises and workshops. I think that's a really good um, thing for Harvey. Ooh. Yeah. 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 I think there's an opportunity there. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna love. Um, that's gonna mean nothing to people for years. For but yeah, I think. I think. I think that could work for Harvey. Um, okay. Sorry, it's my, will my computer Hatman is, be my computer in is... protocol. Will Will who sorry? No, will Hatman be in protocol? Uh, as in the, the name that they gave me for wandering around incognito. Ah. No, but fun fact, I am saving Hatman for the project I intend to be doing after protocol, uh, and that's genuinely true because it sparked something, and I went. So, oh, uh, correct me if oh, I'm incorrect. Easy. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Alex. Uh, but uh, I I, be I believe. Uh, I believe that Hatman's the conceit of Hatman as a character, who Hatman really is. You know, Hatman is. Uh, I want to say you in a hat. Yeah, the ultimate cryptid. I see. I, I got plans. I got plans. I got I plans. Don't see. you worry. Hatman will return, but not in a format that. Hatman is just you in a hat. That's not. A, that's <laughs> not a character. I, I am accepting the challenge of making Hatman a thing, a terrifying and awful thing, and I already know how I'm going to do it. Okay. Godspeed. <laughs> uh, while while you're still, I'm still sorry, I'm, I'm if you're, because uh, no, I realized I, re I opened up the the Bible and I realized I need actually need one of the older uh, versions. Yeah, of yeah, the Bible. it'll be it'll be way old. Um, while you're doing that, fun side thing, I've managed to find a way to genuinely. Uh, 
uh, sell Johnny on a, a, a case statement slash spooky story that I've been trying for years. I'm specifically referencing the one in a coffee shop where I was pleased as punch, nearly weeing myself and went, I've managed to find the thing that makes this as scary as possible. And you actually went, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't remember that. Very proud of myself. I don't remember yep, that. Very proud of myself. Can't speak more. I hear 400 spooky proud. things today, mate. I can't be expected to remember every... Uh... I, absolutely. The number of people who come up to him being like, I've, I've always had this idea. And then it was one where he actually went, yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. It's never happened before. Uh, okay. Are you enjoying writing things that aren't specifically tied to the defined fears from TMA? Uh... I mean, to be fair, I've always been right. Things that haven't been tied um, hmm. to, uh, like, to sp like one of the points of DMA is is to like build up this very rigid, um, this very rigid construction, and then to you know deconstruct it and blur it. Uh, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Like changing things up has given us uh, like an opportunity to be to have a little bit of fun with stuff, you know. Uh, okay, so I here is. Running... Uh, so, are you ready oh, for you some? For uh, are you ready for some? Uh, so, the current front runner, the current front runner is you don't have to be afraid to work here. Dot dot dot. But the uh, meter's wrong. I know. It needs know, to be a single syllable. You don't have to be mm, to work here, but it's a double syllable. So I hate it. I yeah. hate it because the meter's wrong. Um. Uh, so. Uh, so, some log lines. Uh, I think these, these uh, are like your initial ideas. Um, watching. That was one. Uh, oh, you 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 broke up. So it's just the it's just the word. No, that's. Watch. I'm looking at the document here. That's it's just the word watching. <laughs> oh. That one might have been a typo. Uh, the ghost Probably is outside the machine. Inside the system. Oh, that that one's definitely outside the one. world. Everything is a system. A system of fear. Fear. Be careful you system. don't share any that were rejected because they're too revealing. Um, fear is an algorithm. Because I probably got optimized. annoyed at one point and just wrote blah 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 and just wrote Keep the calm and carry on because there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Fear <laughs> optimized. Fear 2.4. That's, that's fear so 2.0. Uh, fear has no function. It's an algorithm. We don't control the system. We just work for it. Thank you for that waiting. Okay. Your fear is okay. important to us. Thank you for waiting. Your fear is important to us. Would Thank be you great. For waiting. Your fear is important. It's got nothing to do with the show. A it's, it's a completely different, different show. show. Uh, I'm genuinely probably going to use that for a future thing because yeah. I think it's really close, but no. Yeah. Um... So those are those are. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Ghost Bean Thirteen. I don't normally credit a specific person, but uh, so many of these sound like the bylines on Goosebump covers in the back. Yes. Movie. You are hundred percent right, and that's how I know it's not right for this. But you are bang on. They like. Does it fit well on a Goosebumps? Then it's probably a decent byline, but absolutely not for this. Yeah. So. Um... I, I, yeah, I think the 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 people the... like my favourite one so far, which is the system one. But uh, which one was that? Still not right. Um, oh, I, I can't remember now. Yeah. I'd have to dig. I can't uh, about these in months. I like. I, I. 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 The thing is, you don't have to be afraid to work here. Dot. 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 Is fine. It's like, uh, it's it's not. It's, it's adequate. not. It's adequate. Like there's, but um, yeah. Fair TM. That's not. What, what, how's that? that? That doesn't. Doesn't make. I'm gonna be honest. That's prob That's actually a really solid title for like a a Netflix original about a uh, corporate. Uh, oh, it's a slasher movie set in. Um, oh no! Building. Hang on, hang on. Uh, like a, a horror horror movie set in the corporate world of the '90s, which is Fire Fear. Yep. Oh, nice. Or Fear nice. of Facts. Ooh. Fear of facts or file of fear? Uh, uh, fear of facts, because file of fear sounds too proper. File of fear. Fear of fear. Uh, fun fact for someone who raised... Uh, I can't I can't see who raised it now. It can't move too quickly. But it was um, one of my favourite things. Uh, it is a, a Polish euphemism for dying is smelling the daisies from underneath. Oh. 
Hmm. Yeah, I really liked that one. Really, hmm. really like that one. Um, yeah, f- thankfully, no one yet has given one where I've gone. Oh, that's so much better than what we've got. Shit. Yeah, there was no. there was quite a nice one which was uh, I didn't I, I'm afraid I missed who did it was four oh four fear not found, uh, which is a good one except a it's a bit more internet than we are and b. Uh, Fear not found implies that it's not scary. So this is the thing, right? I mean, but it's a great tagline. Oh, just... oh, you... oh, okay. okay this we... is me. This is me writing in real time. Uh, uh-huh, give me a second. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. This is me pitching in real time. Good right. example of how we've been doing these taglines. Do you know what a three hundred one redirect is? I do not. So a 301 redirecting computer... Oh, yeah. Oh, people don't know. Okay. Johnny's official stance on computers is that they are rocks that you fill with lightning so that then they, you know, get ghosts. I enjoy learning about... Okay, so the the thing I really enjoy about computers is that I can go on a Wikipedia entry for Windows versions and find the stupidest fucking version I can find (laughs) and write that into a show. Uh, I don't understand how it works, uh, but I like I I know I know how to make I I like I like to be able to make computers seem scary, but or seem funny depending. But I don't actually know how they work. Okay, so a three hundred one redirect is one of those things. It's like a a building block of the internet. I think it's a three hundred one, um, which. It's one of those things where it's used so much that if it ever stopped working, everything would collapse. But most people don't realize how much of a hodgepodge the internet is. So a 301 is basically when something tries to access something online, a 301 goes, yeah, it used to be there, it's over here now. So, technically, wouldn't this be a fair 301? Because it's a redirect. I understand. Uh, like, like, if you were trying to access fears... And they weren't where you expected. You'd 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 have them somewhere else, somewhere new. Ah, so you're proposing that rather than fourteen fears, there are three hundred and one fears. Close enough. Close enough. I see. I see. Look, I, I want you to know from a technical standpoint that's actually quite quite solid. Okay, pitch it to me as a tagline. Is it just fear three hundred one? I put error colon fear three hundred one. That makes it sound like the 301st fear has caused an error. <laughs> oh no, it's the, it's done the uh, it's done the gaming hack thing where it's gone the, it's done the, the number's gone too high and it's circled back round. It's nuclear Gandhi from Civ all over again. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. He's not wrong. And welcome to what has been basically coming on like the last year. What about this? No. What about this? Mm-hmm. No. What about this? That's I quite like for like for instance that there are a lot which like like someone said c colon backslash protocol backslash fear which is actually like something in that vo- in that in that in that mode like a lot of a lot of like the programming style ones work really nicely written down but see that's the thing they can't be You've delivered be as tag- as taglines and the trouble is it's an audio format mm, you've got you've got to be able to say it you know? actually so yeah I, I realise we've, we've we've spent a huge amount of time discussing a thing that yeah we're actually uh, starting to run up against it a bit time wise. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so, so are there any? Sorry, sorry are there, okay. so uh, uh, we should move on. Are there any other questions? Any uh, any cues to a? So I'm not seeing any key ones in. Uh... Oh wow! So the mods have managed to pull receipts for the canary thing. Oh, yeah. And they found the note that I wrote, which is, I wrote, Canary should stay above ground. And I put the comment going, I think there's a Canary in the mine reference that's struggling to come out here. I, I can feel it. I just don't have it. Well, and then you that did. was the one we ended up sticking yeah. with. Because, like... Oh, I, I... The ability to chase receipts makes this very odd. I feel like at some point I'm going to get caught with my hand in a creative cookie jar or something and be like, you didn't say that. You think you did, but you didn't. And I'll be like, oh, I, no. it, it, it happens a lot. Uh, like ri- like writing novels and like you're like oh that's a good line I hope that was 
hope that was mine and not, I hope that was me. Uh, not the editor's. Um, yeah, there's... Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm digging through now for, for questions in, in the real time. A um, lot of stuff to do with... Uh... <laughs> I need a full list of how they file the cases because I work as a cataloger. Okay, so this is where I've been running up into something that Johnny's very familiar with that is a new experience for me, which is archives had a problem. And the problem was very simple, which was... Ghosts. We couldn't... Yeah, just too many. Um, a billion ghosts, Johnny! No. So the, the, the like statement numbers in archives was a bit of a nightmare because... I could never get them right, so inevitably we'd be like, Johnny, the episode releases in a minute, and we still don't know what the statement codes are. And you went, I'll get round to it, I'll get round to it. And then we'll do like 10 in a batch and then nothing for ages. The only person I genuinely think who can actually categorise things according to the system in OAR is me. Yeah. Um, because it's one, willfully obtuse. Yeah. And the problem is, I hadn't realised how obtuse I'd made it, because now everyone's being like, what is this? And I'm sat there going... Oh God, oh God! Come on, guys! It's a Cat Two R Two, probably like a three three six nine plus dates. Come on! And it's it's rapidly becoming apparent to me that I grossly underestimated just how annoying that must have been for you. Well, because that's that's now my millstone. And because it's like, and because it, it it's and because you never think to do it. It never. No. There's no point where it fits neatly in the workflow. You know. No. Nope, so now I'm just in this situation where I didn't mean to, but I've made a rod for my own back here, seriously, where I'm just like, here's an incredibly obtuse system, and then everyone's like, cool, that makes it your responsibility. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's been fun. That's been a fun one. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Uh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> People are saying they need it like they need air. Uh, will we get to hear uh, Billy as Alice before the official drop? Probably not. I don't know. Um, so yeah, there been a we had to do a recast for Alice. Billy has been doing a fantastic job. I'm really, really happy with Billy. Uh, unfortunately, timing wise, it, it there was no version where we'd have been able to demonstrate the Billy recording for the pilot without throwing the time frames out of whack, and we didn't want to make people like miss describe dates and so on. But um, likely, you're probably going to end up waiting. But it's it's a good wait. Um, Billy's been really smashing. Again, we don't. We're very lucky. Uh, our, our cast is really strong, uh, and it's it's a bit of a joy to the point where, like, s s little sneaky insight. Like, April will book like a three-hour recording, and then it'll be done in an hour, and I'll be like, "Listen, they got it all. There's, there's nothing to do." <laughs> how have you been? Like, how about that local sports team, eh? Because there's there's been a couple of people who have just smashed it. Um. Augustus has smashed it. Augustus was really good. Bruce Augustus. Augustus. Character name or actor name? Uh, character name. The one that isn't Chester. Oh, isn't yes! I'd forgotten him. that. Yes! Sorry. Sorry. You could have just said okay. Tim Farron. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't... I, 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 did, I didn't know who you've managed to clock performer names of, but yeah. yeah. Uh, Augustus. Or, or, fun fact, Augustus gave me actual chills. I've never, ever... You know when people go like, oh, it gave me goosebumps? That has never happened to me. The first recording, I went, oh. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? What else we got here? Uh, oh, I was going to talk about the meaning of life. Um... It's, that's, it's really, really, really quite straightforward. It's just, it's just be kind and things get better. Uh, no jokes, jokes aside, I actually. Have what, what do you mean? That's not. That's, 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 that's Alex, really, that's not a joke. The actual meaning of life is really simple. We are at war, and we are at war with entropy because that's the one thing that life is. Life is a violation of entropy in a good way, in that everything falls apart and comes apart and blah blah blah. But some fucking how. Uh, we end up in this weird glitch that is life, which is it 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 books the trend and it replicates itself to continue booking the trend. I strongly believe that it's to do with like life versus ent entropy, but that's a very the end view of things, I guess. I mean, my, my point Sorry, of view is that like existence is a ex existence is yes, yeah, it's, it's a 
it's a weird blip, and it's not that long in the grand scheme of things. So at the end of the day, just like, try not to make it shit for anyone else. Like, just Sorry. trying to make it so we're all having a nicer time. Femme fatale. Alex, you don't know the meaning of life. You're a podcaster. How dare you have a completely accurate and very, very valid stance. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, sorry. Uh, I came here for Q&A, not midlife, if cr midlife crisis takes on the meaning. Oh, we're not midlife yet. We're approaching. Uh, but, yeah, but uh... I'm, de I'm definitely crisising. Yeah, um, like, oh, no, no, we're, like, we're, we're like... We're, like, we've been crisis for, like, I like how our generation is just one long rolling crisis. So everyone's like, oh, yeah, no, this is, I think this is a quarter life crisis. Or this is like a mid, this is like a 30s crisis. And it's like, it's, it's all the same crisis, buddy. It reminds me of when everyone's like, oh, Alex needs to get some sleep. He looks tired. No, I'm just aging. I'm just aging before your eyes. That's what's happening. It's awful. Don't do it. Uh, okay, Sorry, back okay. on point. Other... Midday crisis, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty bang on actually. Okay, okay, we are we are sort of uh, in a in a home stretch at this point. Is there anything that you want to cover, Johnny? Oh yes, to... there is. It's got nothing to do with Magnus, but it is Rusty Quill, um, which is uh, I've I've been reminded that uh, so Sasha uh, and myself uh, wrote so Neon Inkwell is uh, a show that is coming out soon, uh, which is a series of, like, little uh, mini-series that are allowing Rusty Quill to tell slightly more, like, experimental stories, like, without needing to worry about, oh, it's long seasons, like, so they're, they're all much shorter. Uh, Sasha uh, and I have written a sort of uh, kind of existential spooky sci-fi thing called That Colossal Wreck um, mm -hmm. that uh, covers, that, that follows... Uh, that follows the progress of uh, five people waking up on a huge abandoned space station. Um, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, I think uh, I mean, Sasha really... I think we've done a really good job. I th like I love the people that we've uh, got cast. Like Everyone's done a great job on it. I think it's going to be really good. Uh, and it's also... They're also muscles that, like... I, I th that like we haven't had a chance to stretch as much, um, so like very very happy to, and that's coming out. Oh no, I I I've forgotten the exact date. It's later this month. It's I don't, I don't, okay. I don't get it wrong. Yeah. Um, it will come out. Um, also okay. props to April who uh is uh producing there as well, and so as a result is technically producing something like. 30 shows simultaneously. I, April um, is uh, an astounding, wonderful... Oh, November 22nd slash 24th. November 22nd, 24th. So it'll be coming yeah. out uh, on November 22nd to patrons and November 24th for the rest of us. Did uh, I ever tell you how April... This is, this is a fun over Wait, I, I said the rest of us, April. which I guess is technically true, because in, technically speaking, I'm not a patron. So I've got to, <laughs> I've got to wait with the plebs. Damn right. Uh, did I ever tell you, uh, this is a slight overshare, but it's just too good, uh, how April interviewed for Rusty Quill? Uh, was it your was it your house was on fire, she came and put out the fire, uh, and then by the time all You're the fire was out, wrong. you were like, oh, also, you've uh, rationalised my calendar somehow. You, you, are, you are not wrong. Uh, so April turned up, did this fantastic interview, really, really, really good. Um, and, and basically, by the end of the interview, she's like, oh, yeah, you're you're really something quite excellent. At which point she goes, cool, is that everything we go? Yeah. And she goes, right, you're uh, un lovely. I'd love to stay longer, but I'm actually in the middle of a hurricane and I need to go back to the basement. <laughs> she had, during a hurricane, changed location because she'd lost power and signal to then do an interview and then finish preparing and, like, securing... For the hurricane and at the whole time you had not the slightest hint you'd occasionally get a to deal with that later in the middle of the interview and it was like a tree just going out the window like terrifyingly competent just whoa okay 
Um, anywho, sorry, just ran random digression there, but I just that was that was rather a, a special one. Um, okay, okay, okay. Anything left? Uh, you're right on neon, by the way. Uh, I think that. So I, I have a more of an insight in you in that I get to see, to know like I've signed off on a lot of ones for for much much further yeah, yeah. down the line. It's it's a really good mix, um, and I I'm really glad that we found a way to do a bunch of short form because short form is always really quite hard to short form. Make it's in like it, it's, it's in many ways a lot more satisfying to write, like because you can just you know um, yeah, yeah. you 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 have a lot more like Magnus stuff. Because of its ongoing nature and because of the length of it, it is often uh, it often feels a lot more like you know you're, you're carving a boulder as it's rolling downhill. Um, yeah. Whereas uh, you know, like you and you can, you can get a lot of it done before the roll starts, but at some point it's going to start rolling, and you're still going to need to be chipping away as it goes. Whereas the short form stuff, you can very much just like you, you can make a thing, you can craft a thing. And obviously, you're still late with the deadlines because you know you're. you're what are you, a wizard? No, but you know I you mean, still. You know what time I had to finish work last night because someone decided to do all ten in the in the one batch. <sighs> what, do you, what do you mean? I... You, you, you're chasing deadlines and then back up, back onto protocol because I have to do my final show runner. Yeah, that's good to go. Yeah, I'm sat there going. Come on, well, come yeah, on, but I was come waiting. Come that's because I was waiting for you. That was, was I was waiting on three of them for you to to like four in the afternoon. So that we're already mm. done anyway. Mm. Mm. L- l- listen, and technically I'm I'm one <laughs> up because we can call up the receipts. Uh, but no, I fear you might be right on that one. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> Last chance. Is there anything yeah, else to do with protocol that people haven't raised? I, I, maybe, I'm really excited about it. Guys, I'm really sorry, but Bonzo is not the entire key to this. That we're I, I, I do feel like we've accidentally overemphasized Bonzo's importance in the meta narrative. Hey, origi- like, originally, like I love him. Bonzo wasn't even in the ARG. Yeah, not really. And then Johnny was like do weird stuff over here and I went yeah great okay yeah no I um like I, Bonzo is fantastic I, I, I love him he's he's not actually plot cru- critical he's why is he bit plot uh, he has plot but he's not he's not what you might call a bit of a thinker he's not what you might call a planner you know he's not what you might call he's, he's not really gonna be taking uh, an overarching antagonist role. Like because a dog he's... chasing cars. See, what, what would he do if he caught one? You know? Like, because the thing is, discovering that the mastermind behind everything is in fact Mr. Blobby, that's a great joke. It's a great joke. Uh, but you, you can't, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I'm curious then. I, I, uh, we've written a bunch of... Um monsters I'm, I'm trying to remember whether we dropped the name for them yet i don't think we have we we've we've written a bunch of monsters at this point hmm. who's your favorite monster to have written so far you can give a name with no context <laughs> that's that's Just, there's an answer there isn't there? yeah i mean you know you know the answer because it's a che- it's needles goddamn needles man <laughs> <laughs> needles is growing on me. Needles, needles is growing on me. I will say at this point, it's just needles, it's just a monster I want... that I that I, I wrote in, and like he was very much work. He was he was very much like a a, a pract- Like when you're structuring something, you will often come up with a practical character, which is like it's not yeah. particularly inspired. Yeah. It fulfills a function in the story. Maybe if you have time, you'll tweak it and make it more interesting. Hopefully, you will. Usually, you do. But at the end of the day. It's like it, it's just like a piece that's got to be there, and Alex yeah, was yeah. like, and this was one of them. And Alex was like, "That's shit," and I was like, "Stop!" I think that might be my exact. It's wording. not that shit, like, because like it wasn't desperately inspired, but it wasn't. It wasn't actually any shitter than the majority of the like your placeholder monsters. But Alex just took such. A, I was like, "No, it is. It's pretty unpleasant." It's pretty scary. Alex was like, "No, it's shit," and so I have I have run with that. I have run with that. Cop, in, uh... I will cop it that a I was so disparaging of needles. Like yeah. I was I was bordering on inappropriately disparaging of needles. And two, 
<laughs> but you're like, to be fair, it's, it's 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 pushed me to write them in a an interesting way that I'm actually it. really enjoying. I I I, am, I will cop it. I get it. It's working. And uh, the performer, the second that they gave the first paragraph, I went, "Oh no, it's really good." It's really, really, really good. Oh shit! Because that means that Johnny's right, and I hate it. I hate to it be fair, that... like uh, to yeah. to be fair, right, as as me. as originally conceived, he wouldn't have been very good. Like as originally conceived. Well, yeah, but what he's done. No, I'm re- I'm re- I'm actually yeah. very happy with that needles. Is that? Um, I have probably enjoyed so far most. Um, although Bonzo is fun. Uh, Lady M, mm. I think Lady 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 M. Yeah, interesting. I haven't I Lady haven't had Bond. a chance to properly write her yet, so. Uh... So Lady Lady, this is going to sound a bit uh, a, a bit harsh, which is that Lady M's very easy to write, and that's mm. always quite fun. Yeah. Which is just like, I know why you're creepy. I know why you're horrible. I know what your deal is. And I know exactly what you will say in literally any situation. It's just. It's very. It, it makes it. It makes it. There's an pleasant. old friend I enjoyed revisiting in a different context. Oh yeah, fair point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pain of visit. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. Um, okay. I think we're more or less at time. So last yeah. chance, Johnny. But do you have anything that we haven't covered? Also, uh, mods. Before we give you a, a, a lovely thank you, etc. Is there anything that came up that we're like, oh, I forgot that, and things like that. Last chance. Going once. Going twice. They took too long. Okay, cool. Done. In which right, well, case, then, that, that is us donezo. Thank you all so much for joining us uh, for this most Magnus of streams. Um, I mean, it was... It was about it was about thirty percent protocol and seventy percent just nonsense. That, that's I mean they put us in a, they put us on a stream together, Alex. That's that's the vibe. Yeah, and, and with no one to rein us in, which is yeah. always a t- yeah. There's not there's not been it's literally just you and me talking absolute shite for an hour and a half. They like, said low key. They never ever ever tell us that eh, it's just kind of conversational. Just riff with it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Well, so thank actually, you. I do have oh, to. Yes. I, I do have a, a close out for, for people that I've been specifically asked to do before we do the final goodbyes, which is just as a reminder for people that protocol drops publicly in January. Uh, there will be more information as to when that drops soon. Uh, but before then, we have uh, Neon Inkwell dropping, which is in November. So as a result, basically a wee couple of weeks from now you're in you're in non-stop content for like as far as we can see the future so enjoy that oh i yeah i also need to go because my cat has brought a tiny ball into the room and is wailing the most miserably because it's not being thrown find a bigger ball and wail back (laughs) (laughs) anyway (laughs) we should say oh goodbye thank you all for joining and uh yeah Bye-bye. Thank you all. Talk to you soon and thank you, mods.